Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Sajid. Today, we're back with another video. First of all, let me just say, I hope you guys had an amazing end of year 2017 and you are very much looking forward to 2018. Happy New Year to all of you guys. Hope you guys are all in good health. Everyone's looking after their family, their friends, and your goals and ambitions. With that being said, like everyone else, I'm gonna kind of, I've already done my wrap up of the 2017 fashion. But I do this thing on a monthly basis called a fashion favorite where I wrap things up with my recent pickups, the music that I've been vibing to, the books that I've read, and the movies that I've seen. With all that bloody, bloody, blood done, I'm not actually going to show you guys my recent pickups because, as I mentioned, I'm planning to do a massive sort of Christmas Boxing Day pickup video, which will drop hopefully this weekend. So, what I am instead going to do is kind of show you guys my favorite, my five favorite pickups of the year 2017. Actually, no. You know what, there's one garment that's not an actual pickup of the year 2017. So okay, so rather than saying pickup, let's just say five of my favorite pieces this year. Yes, that works better. So we've got one for outerwear, one shirt, one sweatshirt, one pair of trousers, and then one pair of shoes. For shoes, my favorite of this year have been the Gucci square toed loafers. Man, this was such a sick purchase and I'm super, super happy with it. They're absolutely beautiful. I know that they're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, especially because of this square toe look and they kind of, they kind of give off, especially if you went to school here in the UK, they kind of give off that school shoe vibe. I understand whether obviously this, the comparison can be drawn from, but I absolutely love it. I've worn these so, so much ever since I got them. They pretty much go with anything and everything, which is why I absolutely love them. Moving on to trousers, again, kind of a safe option man but these have simply been the trouser for me this year or well, last year they're acne the style name is Ari they're black they're somewhat straight I went to my tailor got them slightly cropped so that I can wear them higher on the waist and they will fit like a cropped pair of trousers or if I wear them regularly for a session slightly lower then they come and flood over the shoe which is an absolutely awesome look they're so buff they're so comfortable I absolutely love the material elasticated waistbands so so many fits using this pair of trousers moving on to shirts we've got I think this is my favorite shirt of all time Hyder Ackerman season I want to say for winter 14, potentially 15. I am absolutely unaware of what season it is. You've got a chest pocket. You've got this beautiful, beautiful material. You've got these a black stripe on this sort of greenish color. There you go, focus, focus, focus. There we have it. Absolutely amazing piece. Back when I used to live at home, my mum actually chucked this. Well, after this piece, my mum never did the washing, so I just took them straight to the dry cleaners. My mum chucked it in the wash and it kind of shrunk it and the material got softer, which was actually a massive bonus because the shrunken fit fits so, so much better and the material now feels incredible to touch. So I'm super glad that she kind of did that. But either way, that's not something I'm willing to risk again. So ever since then, I started taking my stuff to the dry cleaners. I've worn this so, so much. One of my absolute favorite shirts super super gas to have in my collection moving on to sweatshirts now this was a personal favorite I know that if a lot of well yeah, I feel like a lot of people did like this which was surprising because of the cut of it it is the undercover well undercover sweatshirt in this sort of forest green human control system piece I mean pff, man such a beautiful piece you know my feeling in regards to this An amazing cut cropped in the body elongated sleeve very sort of oversized just beautiful Plus Jacob Keller, the OG, got it, so you know. It's a win, win, win. And then last but certainly not the least, we have one of my recent pickups actually, but still man, it's gonna be so, so buff. It is this black long coat from Hydro Ackerman in this cord velvety texture. I'm just so gassed up. I am so gassed up. I wore this on my com shop with me and James, or James and I for all you grammatical king beans out there. Beautiful, beautiful piece, man. So, I'm, I'm just so happy that I was able to get this at the sample sale. Like, I love going to sample sales and being able to find one-offs, and this was one of them. I only saw one of it. Can't lie to you, I haven't seen it go into production, but then again, I know that some pieces are so obscure that you can only find them in certain boutiques or certain stores. I love the silhouette, love the material, love the cut, and it's done by your boy Hyder. The absolute beast when it comes to menswear. But yeah, those are my five favorite pieces. Why don't you let me know what your favorite piece may be out of the bunch that I showed you? Or you can comment your favorite pieces of your wardrobe in the comment section down below. Let me know, because I'd love to actually see what you guys picked up that was absolutely sick, so. Which 
brings me to, and this is going to be a very quick announcement. I want to make it a big thing. In the description box, there is a link to a sale video where I put up loads of pieces for sale from my collection. You know what it is, at the end of every year, kind of recycle, pop new things, get rid of the things that I don't necessarily wear as much or I haven't worn at all. So this is your opportunity now to go take a look at it. It's going to be in the description box down below. If by the time you watch this video, the link is no longer there, it means that everything sold out and the video got taken down. So go, 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 go cop some things. Moving on to the next favorite. We're actually moving on from fashion and all together. Kind of a tech related piece and I kind of wanted to shed more light on it because a lot of you guys have been asking since the last video of Come Shop With Me. I focused on the lens, absolutely incredible. They were from the guys over at Rhino Shield. I kind of wanted to talk about their case that they do so. First of all, they're incredibly well-made cases that will keep your phone in extremely good condition if being dropped, they say 11 feet. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna be one of those idiots that will go and test it by dropping it 11 feet, but I have dropped this many a times and never, ever had an issue. It comes with this amazing screen protector as well that is scratch resistant and all that other jazz. And then my favorite part of this case is the ability to change the back plate. So you, although you have the bumper design, which is actually the more protective element of the case, you can change the back plate to whatever you want. I went for this black marble. They've got loads of, let me just kind of lean over, get that in focus camera, get it, get it, get it, get it, there you go. You can kind of go for whatever print you want. I think the marble one looks absolutely amazing, really, really cool and slick. And obviously I've got the adapter to it, which allows me to attach the lenses. Moving on to, I know I normally go to music and then to books and movies. Haven't been reading books to be honest with you. Movies, haven't really seen anything in the past month. However, as you can see by the hat, I've been obsessed with the show Peaky Blinders. Man, I know it's old, I know I'm riding on it really, really late, but such a sick series. Absolutely love the fashion on it, and this hat is definitely inspired by it. I am so happy to have copped this piece because it is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna obviously include this in my Boxing Day for slash Christmas Roundup pickup video so you will learn more about it then. Shout out to Beaky Blinders and the Shelby family. I'm only on season two so don't spoil it for me. I know there's two more seasons to go so just pipe down, chill out. Moving on to my music favorite, 10. Should we do 10? No, let's do 20 today. Oh my god, that's such, so much work. Fuck it. Let's do 20 songs that I've been vibing to. I'm going to say throughout the year as opposed to just December. Although I'm going to include a lot of songs that I've discovered in December. Let's do a wrap up of my 20 favourites. 2017. Do by whips. Different place. Pushing that dark shit. Pushing that charcoal. Now this is that big. You're never too big for the boot. I got the big size toes in my feet. In New York, I'm really rock along. Hiding in my sock. Hiding in my sock. Yeah, I surf every day. Drown in my soul in the basement. Like, I ain't got much in the bank. Next and don't full power until we reach the maximum. Gonna all my. And with that being said, I'm going to conclude this video right here. 
thank you, thank you ever so much for your continued support, man. The monthly, the monthly, the monthly fashion favorites has been one of my favorite series to do. It just allows me to wrap it up, introduce you guys to potentially new songs, and for me to kind of get the feedback from you guys in the comment section down below because a lot of you guys are very opinionated, which is an awesome thing. Thank you. I think, um, yeah, that's all. I, I mean, this is officially my first video of 2018. I'm super gassed up for this year, man. Really, really am excited, and I hope that you guys can come along with me and if you wish to follow me on my social media sorry it's all in this corner right here s-a-n-g-i-e-v that is my snaps my twitter my instagram have a beautiful day take care peace